okay, so we got our data, we got a data frame, now we want to start modeling it, right? So imagine that the question we want to ask is, how do these attitudes affect the ratings, right? Um, and so, the, you know, the last question is essentially an overall rating of that department, right? How do the individual ratings compose that final rating? What are they really driven by, right? Um, and so that's the question we're going to attempt. But before we get there, I want to note something. If you might notice that, you know, this little thing up here, the name of my file has been has turned red. And that means I haven't saved. And that's bad because it means if something were to happen, my computer were to crash, right? I wouldn't have that file anymore. So it's important to remember to save quite a bit. And you can click this save current document and that'll do it. You could also, and I'll just make it, you can click the Alt S or um, Command S on the Macs, right? Um, and that will also save it, right? But let's get into modeling a little bit. So there is a standard uh, function in R that really helps you look at modeling called LM. And LM, if we look at it, stands for linear model and essentially is going to do regression analysis, right? Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how re why regression is kind of a machine learning tool. But for right now, I'm just gonna use it because it's a really good way to talk about all the kinds of models you can build in R, right? So we're going to go from data frames, which we were just talking about, now to models. Right. So as I mentioned, one thing we might want to do is just model the rating as a composition of the other set of variables, right? So if you look at LM, right, what does it expect? Well, it expects something called a formula type. And formulas are a little bit tricky in R, but um, if you scroll down to the examples, you'll hopefully understand them fairly quickly. So here we go. Here's a, a, a formula. It says weight is a dependent on group, right? And this one says weight is dependent on group minus one, right? Um, and you can have other kinds of models along those lines, right? So we're going to write a model, right? We're going to call it model so we can save it, right? We're going to write a model where data string rating, right, is oh, dependent on, right, data string. We could first maybe do it based upon complaints, um, and then maybe we'll also do it based upon data privileges. Now, it might look like I'm just saying something really dumb, that rating is just complaints plus privileges, but really, I'm in when we do these linear models, there is kind of an implicit idea that this that this outcome is dependent upon the regression of these two things. So it's there's a beta times the complaints and a beta times the privileges, and we're trying to find those betas such that this best fits, right? Um, so if I hit enter now, right? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit enter. Meant to hit the enter run. Right, um, it says invalid type for variable data null. Okay, let's look to see what's going on there. Oh, did I mistype? I misspelled privileges. So I just like to keep some of these mistakes in here so you can kind of see how I go about debugging things. Right, and there we go. So now we have a model, but what does that model look like? Well, to get to the model, we're going to want to run a command called summary. Right, and summary is a useful command in uh, R that basically just provides a summary of the object that you have. So if we type it here, oh, let me scroll up, let me make this window a little bigger. What you'll see is it gives us a lot of information. So first of all, it tells us what the actual model was, right? It then tells us what the residual error terms were, what they, how they were distributed. It then talks about what the intercept value is, right? Because all models are of the form, you know, a and I guess in this case it's AX plus BY plus C or something like that, right? Um, so this is the C, the intercept term. Um, and that's at 15, which means essentially that if there is a zero complaints and zero privileges, right, the rating would still expect it to be a 15, right? Um, but complaints has a estimate of 0.78 and privileges has an estimate of negative 0.05. So essentially, right, one way to think about this is that complaints is more important than privileges, given the fact that they're all on the same scale, we can successfully say that. We also get all the standard other information, right, that for instance, the privileges, the complaints is statistically significant, 
but privileges, as it says, is probably not related, right? So this gives us some information about the overall fit of the model. And then if you go all the way down, we also get adjusted R squared, multiple R squared. We get all the kind of standard statistics of, about fit as well. Simple example, right, of how you can kind of quickly build these models up in R, right? Now, by the way, summary I want to point out doesn't just work on models. It also works on data sets. So I can, for instance, say the summary of data, right? And what this is going to do is for each of the columns, it's going to present me with statistics about the columns, what the mean and the median is, etc. And if I want to do it for just a particular column, I can do that pretty easily by just using that dollar sign component again, right? So um, often, even in my code, as a result, right, I will type in right after I load some data, you know, a summary function. Oh, where did I load the data? I load it up here, right? I can type in summary of the data, and that way it automatically displays to the screen as I'm running the code, so I kind of remember what it was, and you know, can kind of quickly check to see if it's changed at all. And then I'll do the same for the model here. So that's one for the model, but maybe I want to do some additional modeling, right? And maybe I want to try out other versions. Um, and, you know, so I can start to play around with other model formulations. Uh, there we go. Okay. Click down here. So, um, and one small note, maybe I, I'm sick and tired of writing data string all the time, right? Well, then I can instead write model with data lm rating tilde um what was i doing before I'm trying to remember i was doing complaints plus privileges plus let's do races right and then i can hit enter on that right and now i can do summary of the model and now I'll get one that has all three. And again, complaints is the most important factor, right? It has the greatest weight, uh, privileges and raises, doesn't matter. Um, and of course, you know, eventually I might want to look at all of them, right? That's actually, it turns out, pretty easy to do. Let's say I want to make one variable dependent upon all the other variables. I can just take out this entire thing and I can just put a period. And that basically says, take this column and make it depend upon all the other columns, right? If I do that, I get the, uh, oh, I actually have to, I can't do it with the width. I have to do it um, with the data equals, which I was about to show you is the other way to do this. So um, instead of doing with data, I can instead say data equals data as an argument to the linear model, right? Um, and so now if I run that, what you'll see is that if I show you the summary, right, it has now run rating against everything that's not rating in the data set, right? Um, and so it's kind of gone through all of them, right? And as you can see, it turns out really only complaints is the only relevant one. Now, this is a linear model. It's a linear model with no interactions. So what if I want to instead to look at interactions, right? Uh, well, I can go up and I can kind of go in and instead of doing a plus sign, I can do a multiply sign, right? So this is the very first model I did, right? And if you look at this, now I see that I have complaints, privileges, and complaints times data privileges, and then it kind of looks at all those possible interactions. Now I could also look at interactions within the same variable. I could look at complaints times complaints, right? Um, I could combine them in any possible way.